The trailer for Netflix's new Witcher show has been out for just over a month now and overall the feedback from fans seems to be mostly positive. There are hundreds of thousands of more likes than dislikes on the official trailer from Netflix. However, it's also very apparent that there are a lot of people who are confused and or upset with the series. My name is Rag Reynolds and in this video we're going to be going over some of the most frequently asked questions and misunderstandings about the Netflix Witcher show. It's pretty apparent that the majority of people who are upset about this new Witcher Netflix show tend to be people who are coming over from playing the games. It's people who haven't read the books, it's people who have only played the games. Now it's worth mentioning that a lot of people don't actually know that the games were based on books in the first place. Some of them do obviously, but a lot of them don't. But because there have been so many people who have learned about The Witcher from playing the games, there are a lot of people who are coming over to the comments section on the Witcher Netflix trailer and they're asking some questions that have some pretty straightforward answers if you've actually read the books. So the most frequently asked question by far is about Geralt's second sword, his silver sword. Because in the trailer, Geralt only carries one sword. Whereas in the video games, Geralt carries two swords on his back, one silver and one steel. And in the games, you use the silver sword for fighting monsters and you use your steel sword for fighting humans. Now, obviously, if you've not read the books, it's going to be a little confusing to you as to why Geralt only has one sword on him at a time in this trailer. But the answer is pretty straightforward. Geralt still has two swords, it's just that he keeps his silver one on his horse, Roach. The majority of the time, Geralt does not use the silver sword, and in fact, not all monsters are vulnerable to silver. That was a creation of the games by CD Projekt Red. In the books, it is explained that silver is much less durable than steel, and it's also much more expensive, and that a steel sword is good enough to deal with the majority of monsters. As far as wearing two swords on his back at the same time, that again is entirely a creation of CD Projekt Red and their Witcher games. It's entirely just for a game mechanic. It wouldn't be so fun if you had to run back to your horse to grab your other sword every single time you had to fight a monster now, would it? The only time in the books that Geralt ever wears two swords at once, the only time he ever actually carries two at once is in Season of Storms. And now Season of Storms was the very last book ever released and that book was released after the first two Witcher games had come out. The rest of the books were written before any of the games ever came out. So don't worry, Geralt does have his two swords, he just doesn't wear them both on his back at the same time. The next thing I see asked a lot is about Geralt's medallion, people complaining about that. So in the games Geralt has this badass looking uh, wolf medallion and yeah it really does look cool and as far as merchandising goes that's probably making CD Projekt Red a lot of money. But in the trailer and in promotional images we can clearly see that the medallion is much different than it is in the games. What we've seen from The Witcher Netflix is that Geralt's wolf medallion is flat and it's circular. And now a lot of people might not be happy about this, but it is loyal and faithful to the books. What I'm about to read to you now is a direct extract from The Last Wish, which is one of The Witcher books. It is the one that you should read first if you'd ever do decide to read The Witcher books. You carry the Witcher's emblem. The stranger reached into his jerkin once more and pulled out a round medallion on a silver chain. It pictured the head of a wolf bearing its fangs. So that is why the medallion looks like that. The next thing I've been seeing a lot is that people are complaining about Geralt not having cat eyes, they're complaining about his eyes not being yellow and they just look very normal. So the explanation here is that in the books Geralt doesn't always have cat eyes, his eyes actually adjust and it is demonstrated throughout the books that a lot of people at times cannot tell that Geralt is a witcher. They look at him and they just think he's a normal man. Some people do look at him and they know right away but a lot of people look at him and have no idea. And a big factor of that is that his eyes are not always cat-like. The next thing I want to address is how a lot of people are confused about why Yennefer looks the way she does. So in the trailer you can see Yennefer looks kind of deformed, she looks very ugly and there just seems to be a lot of weird stuff going on there that non-book readers won't understand. Now people who have read the books may also not understand this because a lot of these scenes that we're seeing in the trailer 
are actually scenes that have been created just for the show. In the books, Yennefer's past is referenced a few times, but we never actually fully explore it. Whereas it's been explained and revealed by the showrunner that in The Witcher Netflix, they will be exploring Yennefer's backstory a little bit. So these clips that we're seeing in the trailer of Yennefer being deformed, looking quite ugly, that's her in the past. That's her before she was a powerful sorceress. Now in the books it is explained that essentially all sorceresses, people with magic, most of them start off quite ugly and deformed and the reason they end up becoming sorceresses is because they are no good to have a husband because no man would take them because they're ugly. So in the case of Yennefer it's explained in the books that she was actually a hunchback in the past and as Yennefer became a powerful sorceress she used her magic to correct herself and make herself beautiful. Next up I've been seeing a lot of people complaining that the elves in the trailer are black so I want to clear this up because this is just a misconception conception, people just not understanding what they're seeing. You see, there are no elves in the trailer. In the trailer, what you're seeing are dryads. Now, dryads are forest people, and they're not really in the games, but they're a big thing in the books. I can see why people might mistake them for being elves. Uh, during the trailer, there is like a monologue going on. There's some narration going on where someone's talking about elves, and it's shortly after that that the clip of the dryads in the forest plays. So I can see where the confusion is coming from, especially if you are not familiar with the source material, which is the books. But yeah, those are dryads, not elves. And I also want to point out that not all of these dryads are black. You can see here that that's just quite clearly not the case. And then the final thing that I want to go over isn't really a specific question, but it's just a general idea of what is being covered in this first season of The Witcher Netflix. So from speculation, from casting and production clues, people have put together a list of what they think is going to be involved in the first season. It seems to be a pretty established fact that this first season is going to be drawing from the first two short story books in the Witcher series. If you're not familiar with the books, then you should know that there are eight different Witcher books. Three of them are short story collections and five are the main novels. Now the first season of this Witcher show is going to be drawing from the first two short story books. And those books are The Last Wish and The Sword of Destiny. And again, based on production clues, people have put together a list of which short stories they believe are going to be covered in this first season, and in which episodes they might even be covered. So it is assumed that episode 1 will contain the story, The Lesser Evil. Episode 2 will be Edge of the World. Episode 3, The Witcher. Episode 4, Question of Price. Episode 5, The Last Wish. Episode 6, Bounds of Reason. Episode 7, The Sword of Destiny. And Episode 8 will be something more along with The Battle of Sodden. Anyway, that's about all I have for this video. I hope that maybe I've answered some questions you might have had about the Witcher Netflix show. Make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. And make sure to subscribe for more videos in the future. And until next time, my name is Rag Reynolds. And you're welcome, society.